traffic, cramped airplanes, and long commutes. These are some of the least pleasant experiences when you're trying to get from point A to point B. The technology that has allowed humans to get around is both a blessing and a curse. If you've ever been packed on a long flight or sat in rush hour traffic, you know what I mean. But the technology that gave us airplanes and cars is constantly evolving and so are the possibilities for the future of transportation. These are the top ways that transportation could work in the future. Rockets are by far the fastest and most powerful form of transportation humans have ever utilized. And generally, when we think of rocket travel, we're talking about space as the final destination. But what if rockets could be used to go from, say, New York to Shanghai? That's what SpaceX founder Elon Musk is proposing. As part of the promotion of SpaceX's new Starship spacecraft that is currently under development, Musk has proposed that one of its uses could be to bus humans from city to city via rocket. Since Musk has claimed that he wants SpaceX's Starship spacecraft to have safety ratings on par with commercial jets, it only makes sense that the ship could be utilized on the same scale as a commercial jet. According to the proposal, the Starship will take off from one city until it reaches low Earth orbit, then propel itself to the destination city and land. So traveling from city to city is a grand problem to solve, but what about the soul-destroying experience of sitting in traffic? That's a problem way more pressing than taking a rocket to Shanghai. Believe it or not, Elon Musk has a proposition for that too. Imagine you're sitting in a total gridlock and you can't move. What's the most fantastical solution you could possibly come up with? How about having your car lowered underground and propelled through the city to your destination? That's what Elon thought too. With the boring company, Musk is literally boring tunnels underneath Los Angeles and putting a special track system in that would whisk away cars from point A directly to point B, avoiding traffic altogether. The novelty here is that tunnels can be dug at varying levels, allowing traffic to be alleviated in a three-dimensional fashion, unlike above-ground roads which only give us two dimensions of space. Since the 1950s, flying cars have been the ultimate pipe dream for technology. It's been the big futuristic hope, and decade after decade, we just haven't had our big payoff. However, thanks to recent strides in drone technology, the tides seem to be changing. In fact, as we speak, there are several companies developing passenger taxi drones. Taxi drones, or air taxis, will look and feel a lot like a mini jet plane, except it can actually take off and land vertically, and will be fully electric. Imagine your average drone, except large enough that it could seat five people. Most of the companies currently developing drone taxis are projecting a timeline to have them on the market by 2025. The problem with human space travel is that it takes too long. Anywhere beyond the moon, like, say, Mars, and you're talking at least months of travel time. That's a lot of food, water, and breathable air that has to be stored somewhere on board for the duration of the trip. One fascinating proposal to solve this problem is a space train, the Solar Express. And unlike a traditional train, a space train wouldn't ride a rail, but would instead gain speed by using the gravity from planets and moons to slingshot itself through space. The train would never stop and would be boarded via a separate spacecraft that flies alongside it. With this technique, the Solar Express would reach blazing speeds up to 3,000 kilometers per second, or one-tenth the speed of light. That's fast. So fast you could get to Mars in just under two days instead of the estimated five months it would take on a regular launch mission. The Transatlantic Tunnel is a fantasy that goes all the way back to 1888 when Jules Verne proposed it in his book An Express of the Future. The idea is an underwater tunnel connecting New York and London which would allow an ultra-high-speed train to cut transatlantic travel to a fraction of what it is now. 
The dream is that all the air could be pumped out of the tube creating a vacuum so a high-speed maglev train could be implemented. Not only would this be massively convenient for travelers, it would also eliminate a solid portion of carbon emissions by reducing transatlantic flights. It would no doubt be an engineering feat of gigantic proportions though. The tumultuous environment at the bottom of the ocean, the water pressure, and oh yeah, the volcanic mountain range that runs along the entire Atlantic Ocean. Self-driving cars have been a cutting-edge debate for a while now. It's getting pretty ingrained into our brains and as progress moves in fast motion, the public is getting more and more comfortable with the idea. Which is good, because for the true benefits of autonomous vehicles to be experienced, a complete paradigm shift needs to take place in cities. It's this paradigm shift when the majority of cars on the road are self-driving that traffic and metropolitan transportation as a whole will be fundamentally shook in a good way. Autonomous cars not only alleviate the driver of her responsibilities at the wheel, but they also have the potential to alleviate all of traffic as a whole. Because once cars can communicate autonomously, the efficiency of traffic will soar. Because cars don't cause traffic jams, people do. For example, a traffic jam happens when flow is stopped on a road. This can happen by literally a single person who maybe used their brakes a little too hard, and boom! Hundreds of people have to stop now, and these instances of human error can be removed by self-driving vehicles and thus the blockage and flow eliminated. If you ask most people, the worst part about traveling is being crammed in an airplane in a tiny seat for an extended period of time. It only seems to get worse as airlines continue to cut costs and increase passenger load. Picture an alternative where space is abundant and not only are you able to walk around freely, but you can even have your own stateroom. That's what the company Eros is proposing you will get from the airships that they are developing. Not so much a blimp as a giant palace in the sky. These airships could cruise the skies at 120 knots. That's certainly slower than a modern jet, but what's the rush when you have a bed, restaurants, and even a casino to hit up? Arrows is also developing airships to work as behemoth cargo carriers. With a payload capacity of 500 tons, their biggest model would have bigger cargo bays than any truck, air, or rail transport that exists. And although they're many times larger than a jet, they require a fraction of the runway since they're capable of vertically taking off and landing. This next concept is as far out as space itself. A private space program based out of California is hard at work creating an infrastructure for the cheapest ever conceived flights to space. The company, JP Aerospace, is proposing to do that with balloons. JP Aerospace is intending to build a huge floating station in the upper atmosphere at 140,000 feet in the air. Called the Dark Sky Station, it will serve as not only a launching point for airships to go to space, but also a lab to run experiments from, and even a tourist destination. The city in the sky, as they call it, would be a monumental rest stop between the ground and space and give humans a permanent fixture in the sky. With the recent breakthroughs in battery-powered vehicles comes incredible new opportunities on not just the roads, but in the sky. Several companies around the world are working on transforming the way airline flights will work in the future. And the race to a fully electric passenger aircraft is on. That's the goal for companies like Boeing and Airbus, who are currently working on perfecting the electric airplane. The benefits of the environment of switching airplanes to electric are crucial and much needed. 500 million tons of CO2 are emitted by airplanes every year. But electric planes could bring that number down drastically. These planes would also be insanely cheaper to fly than traditional jets. For example, jet fuel is extremely expensive, but an electric plane doesn't need jet fuel and can reduce energy costs of flying to as low as a fifth of what it is now. Flying will be cheaper and cleaner than ever. When you're talking about the future of transportation, it's pretty hard to talk about without bringing up Elon Musk every five minutes. And that brings us to our next topic, brought to you by 
You guessed it, Elon Musk. The Hyperloop is a proposed super high-speed train that would zoom passengers from Los Angeles to San Francisco in just 35 minutes. It reaches nearly the speed of sound by operating in a sealed tube that has most of the air pumped out of it to reduce drag. The original plan called for the train to be in an actual vacuum tube with no air in it, but the cost of maintaining a vacuum tube that long was determined to be too much. The tubes will sit hoisted above ground to leave room for roads and other ground transportation to still flow. Although Elon Musk originally created the concept, he open sourced his plans to let another company take the lead. And the company Hyperloop One is leading the way, with multiple countries showing interest in their plans. When talking about transportation, there's nothing more exciting and fantastical than the concept of anti-gravity. Anti-gravity generation is a proposed method of negating the effects of gravity to allow a vehicle or spacecraft to propel itself undeterred by the Earth's gravity. Humans have been dreaming of the idea for centuries, and to be quite honest, there's not a whole lot of progress happening, and scientists haven't really even found any evidence it's possible. However, this isn't a peer-reviewed science journal, so let's do some speculating. If anti-gravity technology were possible, it would render pretty much every form of transportation we have obsolete. Without having to go head-to-head -head with the force of gravity, vertical takeoff would suddenly require barely any energy compared to what it requires normally. The skies would be open to anything and anyone with the tiniest effort. Launching into space would be radically changed with the ability to turn gravity off. It would require so little energy, anything you could literally throw, you could send to space. So long as it had an anti-gravity device working on it. It's a technology that scientists aren't quite sure could even exist. But hey, what if, right? 